All right. E3 predictions 2018. That is the year. Let's get into it. The first conference we'll be seeing is EA. I expect at least one loot box joke. I expect them to grandstand about how they're going to treat their customers with respect and not put loot boxes in games anymore and you know this is their commitment to the player and uh, it's going to be just as gross as it sounds. I'm hoping for Titanfall 2, uh, 3, sorry, Titanfall 3 footage. Um, I'm interested in seeing how that goes. Uh, I expect some kind of Battlefront DLC reveal that I won't care about. Uh, a bunch of sports that I will just sleep through. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Maybe a new Sims game. Seems like it would be time for a new Sims game. All in all, besides Titanfall, there's really nothing EA has I'm interested in. Uh, the next day we have Microsoft and Bethesda. Microsoft, I'm expecting a Halo 6 announcement. I think it's absolutely time for a Halo 6 because uh, they don't understand... The, you know the whole dead horse thing they, they they're gonna keep going to that well uh, until it stops producing money i i do expect some kind of pc announcement though i think a halo pc announcement is is imminent otherwise i don't think they would have shut down the halo online thing i think they would have left it up just so that they could kind of it would it would if it if they'd left it up it would have brought more people on PC towards Halo, but much with Nintendo taking down another Metro 2 remake, I feel like they're taking it down because at E3 they're announcing some kind of PC Halo title. Whether that be a port of Master Chief Collection, whether that be Halo 5, I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's just Halo 6 is going to be on PC and Xbox, and we'll worry about the rest later. I don't know, but I'm expecting some kind of Halo PC announcement. Um, Microsoft and Bandai and Namco are pretty tight these days. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters got shown off there last year, and I think Code Vein did as well. So I'm expecting a, an extended Code Vein demo of, of gameplay. Um, so we'll see how that looks. <clears throat> uh, Metro will probably get shown off again. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a fair call. Uh, Crackdown 3 will probably be the main game they're going to be showing off because I don't think they have anything else coming out this year besides that. No, they don't. Um, yeah, Crackdown 3 will be their big title that they want to kind of focus things around. They'll have a big extended gameplay demo. I'm sure Terry Crews will be there. Uh, and at the end of it, just like every other year, you'll go, oh, you know, that looked pretty good. And then you'll completely forget about it because the only reason to have an Xbox One right now is to play Xbox 360 games. Bethesda will probably announce a new IP. Um, I'm that's what I'm pretty that's what I'm pretty sure that's what Todd and the team have been working on, rather than a, a new Elder Scrolls or any, anything like that. Their their PR department has very clearly stated there's no Elder Scrolls games coming out anytime soon, and they're working on something else. So I I, I think it's going to be a new IP. That's just the feeling I'm getting. I'm really hoping for a, uh, a Doom sequel. The first. The, uh, the, the, the game they made in, that came out in 2016 was really good, and I'm hoping that it is working on another sequel. And the fact that Avalanche is working on Rage and not id suggests to me that id is working on their own stuff, so uh, fingers crossed for that. I don't know what this Fallout thing they're teasing is, but I, I don't think it's going to be a mainline Fallout game. I think it's going to be some kind of gay spin-off that no one cares about. <clears throat> what else does Bethesda have? Quake? Who cares? Wolfenstein? Who cares? Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything else. Uh, Square Enix. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff. More Final Fantasy 15 DLC. Maybe a fucking CG trailer for Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I'm not expecting anything from Square Enix. Oh, they're making that fucking... Uh, that new Tomb Raider game, aren't they? Yeah, maybe that. Ubisoft... The fuck does Ubisoft have? I mean, what do they have lined up? Um, they stopped doing annual Assassin's Creeds, so it won't be a, a set. It could be an announcement for a next year's Assassin's Creed. We could see that. That's very, yeah, yeah. That's very possible. Um, what else do they have? 
I don't. I'm not expecting Beyond Good and Evil. I'm not at all. That that game doesn't even exist. I'm pretty sure yet, and I don't think we'll see it till next year, unless they want to do another CG trailer, which isn't isn't going to do anything for them. I don't think anybody is going to care. <clears throat> hmm. Ghost Recon Wildlands Two. Far Cry 6? Nah, it's too early for that. 5 just came out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really... I have no idea what to expect from Ubisoft, so we'll see. Uh, Sony. Sony's gonna... They've already said they're focusing on 4 games, right? That Sucker Punch, Weeb game, Spider-Man, Death Stranding, and... I think it was Days Gone. Uh, I can't remember. They delayed Days Gone until next year, probably because no one gives a shit about it. And I'm thinking they're going to show a, a fair bit of it off because they really want to try and get people interested in it. Um, Spider-Man is coming out very soon, so I'm not entirely sure if that's going to get a lot of play. There's not really anything else for them to show off, I feel. Maybe a boss fight? That would be cool. If they showed off a boss fight, I think that's that's something they haven't shown off. That would be pretty interesting. Uh, Death Stranding will get a gameplay demo. I am certain of it. I am absolutely sure. And if they don't, eh, people are going to be really disappointed, I feel. Uh, you know. But yeah, I, I, I fully expect that uh, Death Stranding will have a gameplay demo. Um, the game's been under development for quite some time now, so you know, I'm sure they have something to show off. Uh, what's the other one? The Sucker Punch game. Shadows of something. Um, I'm expecting a gameplay demo for that as well just because they had a CG trailer last year and I don't think they want to do two in a row. Um, you have to be someone like Kojima to get away with that, I think. Yeah, so they, they've they said they want to focus on those four, but I fully expect there's going to be third parties there as well. There will be a Call of Duty uh, announcement. There will be a Destiny announcement, a Destiny 2 announcement, because Bungie has been working on something all this time and it has sure as fuck wasn't the two DLCs they released because Vicarious Visions was making those. So they're probably working on their Taken King analogue, which I think is slated for September, um, if not early next year. And no, they have a big patch coming in September, but I don't think they have any DLCs coming out this year, unless I'm about to be proven wrong. Um, everyone's expecting something, uh, a DLC coming in, in September. I don't, I'm not, I'm not at all. I think Bungie takes way too long to make this stuff, and I think one year isn't long enough. I think they're going to want more time. They delay everything they fucking made since forever, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I think Taken King 2 announcement, or whatever you could call it, you know, the Destiny 2 expansion that makes the game good. Call it that. Uh, what else? Capcom. It's Suno. I expected Suno's game to be announced. Because he said he's going to announce it for like the last three years and it hasn't shown up. So I'm fully, fully expecting him to show up with a full gameplay demo because otherwise, what the fuck have you been talking about this whole time, dude? And yeah, it better be Devil May Cry 5 because... It's, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a Dragon's Dogma game. I, I don't think Capcom wants to touch that game. They're just happy to milk people in Japan with their fucking MMO and they're going to leave it at that. <clears throat> oh, I forgot about Mortal Kombat. Shit, Mortal Kombat is getting it announced at E3. Probably at Sony because that's where X was announced. I don't see it happening on Microsoft because people that play fighting games just don't care about, don't own Xboxes anymore. But, you know, if there's no room on Sony's, on Sony's presentation, they'll fuck off elsewhere. <clears throat> I think that's all the predictions I have for Sony. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. That that's already like a lot for one one conference anyway. Uh, Nintendo <clears throat> Smash Brothers will finally get properly shown off. I think everyone knows that's going to happen. Um, hopefully, the Pokemon Switch game gets f fully shown off, and hopefully, it isn't just like a piece of shit. Uh, you know, hopefully, it's a you know a proper Pokemon game. Uh, Metroid Prime 4 will probably have a CG trailer. I'm not expecting gameplay. If all they had was a logo last year, I'm not expecting gameplay now a year later. Uh, yeah, I'm expecting a CG trailer for uh, Metroid Prime 4. Uh, what else? What else? 
Is it too soon for a new Mario game to be announced? Yeah, I think it is. Unless it's some kind of really vague teaser. Yeah. But that, that's still a lot, right? And then there'll be, you know, DLC for games that are already out. Maybe some new Zelda DLC. Maybe uh, more Splatoon shit. Splatoon will be all over it, of course. Uh, the main things people are looking forward to are Smash Pokemon and uh, Metroid, I think. I think those are definitely going to be the highlights. All in all, this year, I'm not expecting too much. I think uh, this year is going to be something that people are very disappointed by. A lot of really dumb people thought that hardware was going to get announced this year, but it's just not, not the case. The, the way the market is right now, it's shifting towards something more like with PS4 Pro, uh, Xbox One X. I think at this point, they're happy with the ecosystems they have, and they're just going to keep iterating on that and slowly phasing older consoles out, rather than... Uh, bringing in brand new consoles with brand new architectures every uh, six, uh, six to eight years. <clears throat> because these new consoles are x86, it means their operating system can run their games consistently like a PC could for the next few uh, decades, I think, with just bits of iteration every now and again. A new console to come out with better hardware, something like that. <laughs> I think uh, generations as we knew them previously are sort of dead, uh, except for Nintendo. I think Nintendo are going to stick with the old model just because they're Nintendo. They don't really change. They don't understand change. They don't understand how things work, I, th I think. Uh, if Nintendo was going to do something like what Sony and Microsoft are doing, it would probably be a Switch that you know just has slightly better hardware and it definitely wouldn't be coming out for a very long time you know because the switch is very successful they wouldn't iterate on that uh, unless they really thought that what they had was better than what they already had I think but you know they've done that before so who knows it's Nintendo man you can't really predict what Nintendo is gonna do okay um, that's my e3 predictions We'll come back in a cup and uh, a week and a half, and we'll see how how well I've done. What are we looking at? A week, right? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Week and a half, yeah. All right. See you then, guys. All right. Uh, as I was recording that, Nintendo showed off the Pokemon game, Eevee and Pikachu. It's a Pokemon Yellow remake. Uh, but they also said that there's still a new mainline Pokemon coming in coming in the second half of 2019 so I guess Nintendo is going to be showing off uh, the new games at, e at E3 I don't think they're going to be showing off that other mainline development game and of course every oh my god my Twitter timeline is just filled with fucking yeah, the people rolling their fucking eyes because it's just a dumb fucking Kanto remake again. And then you got the half of you got idiots that haven't touched a Pokemon game in like 15 years saying, Yo! Oh, fuck. I hate Pokemon, dude. I'm so sick of it. Alright. That's it.